Welcome back, everyone. You know, celebrity relationships, they always seem to uh, catch my eye. And today we're taking a deep dive into one that's been making headlines. The uh, breakup of Channing Tatum and Zoe Kravitz. Definitely a lot of buzz around that one. We've got a whole bunch of sources to dig through, quick news bits, those detailed relationship timelines, even some interesting quotes about their work together. Oh, I love a good quote. Right. It's crazy how fast things move for them. You know, mm -hmm. those first paparazzi pics of them biting in New York City. That was back in August 2021. August 2021 here. And boom, by October 2023, they're engaged. Whirlwind romance, for sure. Makes you wonder, was it just like instant chemistry? Or maybe they both just um, crave that kind of intensity. Or maybe it was, you know, a way to deal with other stuff going on by having this very public relationship. Hmm. That's an interesting thought. And their relationship? It wasn't exactly a private affair, was it? Nope, not at all. Red carpets, Halloween costumes. They even did Taxi Driver, remember? Yeah, that was a choice. And the quotes. Oh, the quotes. They gushed about each other constantly. That was a lot. I remember one. It was Zoe. She said, it's very cool to make a movie, but when you get to do it with the love of your life, it's even cooler. Wow. It seems like for them, making movies together was like this core part of their whole connection. Yeah, it wasn't just romance. It was creative partnership, too. What do you make of that, you know, that link between the art they were making and their love life? Well, it's tricky, isn't it? On the one hand, it's romantic, right? Two artists finding love, inspiring each other. But in reality, it's usually a lot messier. It's never that simple, is it? Remember that advice Channing gave? About testing a relationship? No. What did he say? He said, go find the hardest possible project, like physically hard. Build a house, paint a room, something tough. Hmm. I don't remember that. Kind of ironic now, considering how things turned out. Makes you think, maybe all that creative ambition working together so intensely, maybe that put extra strain on them. That's a good point. You know, it's like that whole parasocial relationship thing where fans get totally invested in celebrities' lives. But here, it's not just fans watching, it's playing out in their actual work, blurring the lines even more. Exactly, yeah. And speaking of blurred lines, even with all the lovey-dovey stuff, there were signs of trouble brewing, weren't there? Oh yeah, definitely some hints. Like what? Several articles mention Zoe without her engagement ring these last few weeks. That's always uh, interesting. Yeah, never a good sign. And their last public appearance, it, it wasn't a premiere or anything. It was at a play with LaVon Hawk. Oh, right, right. He was Zoe's co-star in Blink twice, not Channing's. Makes you wonder if they were already distancing themselves even before the official announcement. You're picking up on all the subtle clues, like a detective. Oh, Got to read between the lines sometimes. And we can't forget the families, especially Lenny Kravitz, Zoe's dad. He was so supportive of them, calling Channing a soulful human being and saying they all got along great. Yeah, the family seemed really close. Makes the breakup even more, I don't know, sad. Yeah, definitely adds another layer. Breakups never happen in a vacuum, do they? They impact everyone around the couple, too. It's like throwing a stone in a pond. The ripples go everywhere. Exactly. And in this case... Those ripples reach their fans, everyone who's been following their story. Celebrity relationships, they become these um, cultural touchstones, I guess. We see ourselves in them, our own hopes and fears about love and heartbreak. Yeah, I get that. And now, here comes this new film, Alpha Gang, starring both Channing and Zoe, along with Kate Blanchett. Mm. What do you think, how will their past affect this project? Ooh, that's a tough one. How do you work closely with someone you are so deeply connected to, especially after such a public split? So many questions. Does it influence the creative process, or does it just create tension on set? Can they separate the work from their personal history? Or does the art become like a way to deal with all those unresolved feelings? It makes you wonder, will we see any of that uh, emotional baggage, you know? Oh, totally. And it makes me think about all those other artists who've worked together while they were a couple. Mm -hmm. Is it always a recipe for disaster, personal stuff, messing up the creative process? Right, right. Or can it actually make things stronger, you know, mm -hmm. deeper art, deeper bond between the partners? Hmm, interesting. Because remember, they always talked about art as our love language. So if their art really did come from love, mm -hmm. what happens to it now? Yeah, good question. Does it still have that same meaning? Or does it become like more complex, maybe even a little sad? I mean, think about it. Does it become this reminder of what they lost, you know, bittersweet? Mm. Or could it become something completely different, something new, because they've both grown and changed? It's like we're watching this uh, 
real life art piece unfold, you know, totally the crazy romance, the declarations of love, the art they made together. And now this public split, it's all connected. Every step adds another layer to the story. Absolutely. And it makes us question everything, love, art, the stories we tell ourselves. And the stories we tell the world. Right. And we can't forget the audience, right? Oh yeah, the fans. Celebrity culture feeds off our fascination with these relationships. We're totally invested. We project our own stuff onto them, our desires, our anxieties. Like we're helping to write the story. In a way, yeah. It makes you think, does all that scrutiny, all that attention, does it make things harder for celebrity couples? No, I'd say so. Imagine your most private moments being analyzed, debated all over the world. It ought to be tough. That kind of exposure, that vulnerability, it's uh, intense. To say the least. And then throw in the whole art thing, personal feelings mixed with creative work. It's a recipe for uh, volatility. For sure. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. This is Channing and Zoe's life, you know? Right. They're real people dealing with love, loss, ambition. Exactly. And they're doing it with the whole world watching. It just goes to show, even with fame and fortune, they still go through the same things we all do. It's a good reminder. We all want connection, meaning happiness. But sometimes the search for those things takes us down unexpected paths. Sometimes joyful, sometimes heartbreaking. Exactly. And their stories still unfolding their lives, their work. It's all so intertwined. Who knows what's next? Who knows? Will they stay professional despite the breakup? Will their past work together influence their future projects? So many questions. Yeah. But I think if we look at their story closely, you know, go beyond the gossip and the headlines. Yeah, yeah. We can learn a lot about relationships, about art, about the challenges of living in the public eye. Well said. This deep dive, it's given us a lot to think about. Definitely. It reminds us that even in the world of celebrities, there's so much more than meets the eye. So much nuance, complexity. And ultimately, they're human, just like us. Absolutely. And this story's not over yet. With their new film coming out. Who knows what'll happen? Maybe this breakup isn't an ending, but a new chapter, right? Could be. One that'll keep surprising us and challenging us. It's fascinating. It's amazing, right? <laughs> we started with this breakup, and now we're talking about like the whole meaning of art. Yeah, it's pretty deep. So as we wrap up, what really sticks with you from all this? I keep coming back to that art as our love language thing. If that was really true for them, what happens to the art now? Right. Yeah. Does it become like a museum piece of their relationship? Or yeah. could it, I don't know, could it change into something totally different? Maybe even more powerful because of what happened. It's interesting to think about. It's like their art becomes this uh, living record of their journey. With all the ups and downs. And we, the audience, we get to see it all, experience it in a new way. Yeah, with all that extra context. Wow, what a deep dive this has been. Yeah. We talked about their crazy romance, how love and art mix for them, the impact of their breakup. The families, the fans, the whole celebrity thing. It's a lot to unpack. It reminds us that even the simplest stories can be super complicated. And when we really pay attention, we can learn so much about ourselves, about the world. Totally. Well, thank you so much for being here, sharing your insights with us. My pleasure. Always enjoy a good deep dive. And of course, huge thanks to all of you listening. We hope you enjoyed this exploration. It's a good reminder that life, like art, is always changing. Who knows what's next for Channing and Zoe? We'll be watching, that's for sure. Until next time, keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep diving deep.